Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about shift reduce parsing. In our previous class, we have given an intuition about a bottom up parsing technique. This is a continuation class. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class, shift reduce parsing is a technique that we use in bottom up parsing to identify whether the given string is accepted or not okay so in order to uh, identify that the given string is accepted or not we will go with shift reduce technique in this shift reduce we are using an extra stack we will use a stack and we are going to uh, use this stack and identify the given input is accepted or not in uh, in the shift reduce parsing we will do four actions what's those four actions shift shift the next input symbol onto the stack that is what shift operation means reduce operation means we already discussed about reduce operation in last class again we are going to explain it take elements from the stack you take elements from the stack if they match body of the production then reduce Anyway, with example, you will get clarity. What's this reduce means? We already hoping that you already know what's reduce. We have done an example previously. So next one is accept uh, whether the string is successfully uh, uh, completed or not. That is what accept uh, says. Uh, next one is uh, if there is any mistake in the syntax, you have to identify. These four actions will be done in our shift reduce parsing. Uh, now we'll take an example and understand. Uh, this is the example which we used in our last class. The same example here we are uh, showing on the uh, shift reduce parsing. Uh, e tends to e plus t or t t tends to t star f or f f tends to id or e bracket e so initially the stack consists of dollar symbol why we need to add this and input is id1 into id1 id2 and dollar is added to the end of the input why we need to add to the dollar to the stack and why we need to add dollar to the input was discussed in our previous classes when we discussed about the top down parsing technique so initially first dollar it is going to shift shift the first input symbol onto the stack yes id1 is shifted to id uh, onto the top of the stack id1 now reduce it to f dash id the production f tends to id it is matching that that's why id is reduced to f now stack consists of f means pop the id1 from the stack and place f onto the stack that is what reduce operation means now most of them will get this question when we need to shift and when we need to reduce yes this is the point you will get clarity in our coming classes as of now in this class you try to understand how we are using the shift reduce technique to identify the given string is accepted or not when you need to shift when you need to reduce this is the question you will understand in our coming classes okay so now f is there star reduce t to f means in place of f place t pop f from the stack and place t onto the stack that is what reduce operation means t is on the stack now star id to dollar shift operation has been taken so star has been shifted to stack stack next id to shift operation has been taken id to is shifted to top of the stack now reduce f tends to id2 is matched to f that's why it is going to reduce to f now we are on the stack we are having t star f t star f is reduced to t tends to t star f means pop t star f from the stack and push t onto the stack that is what reduce operation means so this entire thing has been matched to the body of the production that's why these elements should be popped from the stack and push the left hand symbol on the production in the production so t has been t is reduced to e e tends to t so pop t from the stack and push e onto the stack so whenever a dollar and e symbol has been identified e means starting symbol if this has been identified accepted state this is what shift reduce parsing will do 
you know next classes we are going to discuss uh, how to identify the shift condition and uh, reduce condition then we are going to use the next uh, in our coming classes we will we are going to use this shift reduce technique and uh, we are going to derive the input is accepted or not using the conditions which we identified in our next in our coming classes hope you understand the concept of shift reduce if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you